this is the third time recording this damn video. I Talking is so hard lately. At least I have tea. Welcome to LGBT time, where I drink tea and talk about LGBT issues for the third fucking time. Talking about this topic so often has made me realize how positive my experiences with the LGBT plus community really have been, and I'm so thankful for that. But exactly because of that, because I really love this community, I feel the need to shed light on issues in it. Because I think that each one of us who cares about the community and who cares about each other um, should call out things, um, call out issues when they see them. Not for the sake of calling them out and dragging the whole community through the mud, but for the sake of it becoming even better and being this space full of love and acceptance that we all want it to be. Lately I've been thinking about uh, straight passing privilege. If you're not familiar with the concept, it's basically about how certain LGBT plus individuals um, can pass as straight because they're not really fulfilling those stereotypes that are, that are associated with gay or with um, whatever sexuality they are. Um, and so people assume that they're straight which means they're not immediately met with all of those prejudices that come with people knowing that you're queer. It's also about certain sexualities, um, like for example bisexuality or asexuality, which aren't as obviously queer, um, in which you could still be in an opposite sex relationship and people assume you're straight even though you are queer. Now, I think this is very connected to the issue uh, there is in the LGBT plus community with um, certain sexualities being kind of excluded from the community uh, because they're not as obviously super gay because some people apparently like to forget that it's not the gay community it's the LGBT plus community and it's for anyone who doesn't fit into the boxes society has given us regarding sexuality and gender um, so I'm gonna talk about that a little bit first if I'm with a man, I might not face this direct discrimination um, where people treat me badly because I kiss the person that I love. But not to mention that bisexuals get a lot of crap for apparently being straight after all um, when they're in an opposite sex relationship. Still, you know, uh, if I'm out, then people who are biphobic will treat me badly no matter if I'm with a man, a woman or no one at all because discrimination isn't just based on whose hand you're holding, it's based on your identity. What's very real for a lot of bisexuals um, is that at times you wonder am I gay enough? Um, and with all of those extremely harmful stereotypes around it just sometimes happens that you think you know, what if I'm actually just confused? What if this is just a face? And so on. Which is horrible, honestly. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Super gay. <laughs> That's also why asexuals and aromantic people can face um, a lot of struggles, even if you uh, would call them straight passing and you don't see them as obviously LGBT+. When discussing a topic, I think it's very important to uh, listen to the other side, to, to the other opinions there are. Uh, because, of course, I do want to get my opinion out there, but that's not the only reason why I'm doing this. I think that with a lot of topics like this one, there isn't a clear solution. But we still need to talk about it when there is an issue. And I want to do that. And yeah, that's why I kind of try to also understand the other point of view. I found this article which was written by a gay man who um, he wrote about his experience when someone uh, thought that he was straight and how he felt about passing as straight in this moment. It's definitely an interesting article that's worth reading. Um, if you feel like it, the link is in the description below. Yeah, it was, it was very touching and I definitely understand where he's coming from when he says that um, he's a bit jealous of bi and gay men who can pass a straight because when people see them they don't immediately um, jump to their conclusions they don't have 
all of these assumptions about this person that they don't even know yet, which they have when someone fulfills a certain stereotype that we have about gay people. And I definitely see how that can be really hard, you know, when people just assume stuff about your identity without even knowing you, simply because you dress gay or you look gay or whatever. Uh, it's so messed up that we think we can tell um, what sexuality someone has based on how they look. And what's really messed up is that we think, based on that, we can tell what a person is like. We can judge them and we know what their personality is like. That's not how it works, people. So in that sense, I really understand um, where he's coming from. And I understand, like, I, I feel so much compassion with people who have to face this kind of prejudice on a daily basis, simply because they fulfill a certain stereotype. Um, but still, I don't like the word straight passing privilege. I mean, especially when it's used to exclude certain people or certain sexualities from the LGBT plus community. Um, because I feel like a lot of people who have used this word assume that people who can pass as straight don't face the same discrimination, the same struggles with their identity. And that's just not true. And I want to clear that up. <laughs> I think before reading this article, I was focusing very much on how, you know, for example, a bisexual person uh, can be assumed to be straight because they're in an opposite sex relationship, but really it's about so much more. It's about these stereotypes that we have in society and how we um, judge people based on them, how we think that based on these stereotypes, you can tell someone's sexuality and uh, furthermore immediately know what kind of person they are, uh, all of the words associated with the sexuality. And that's complete crap, you know. But it was really good to have this kind of input and to look at it from a different angle also. Um, because yeah, it must be extremely hard to face these things. But I think it's so easy to assume that it's so good to be passing a straight, that it's so easy. And I think, you know, from someone's perspective who faces this prejudice on a daily basis, who is always immediately assumed to be gay, yeah, I get how it can seem like a wonderful thing to just for once not have that standing in the way. But on the other hand, for someone um, who's for example bisexual or asexual, aromantic, I've been told too many times that they're not gay enough, that they're not queer enough to be a part of the LGBT plus community. It's not a nice thing when people look at you and immediately jump to the conclusion that you're straight. Because it feels like your identity is being erased over and over again, like people just don't see you for who you are and it keeps kind of, um, you know, validating those doubts that you have about not being gay enough. So I think it really depends on uh, your perspective and it's always hard to, um, you know, understand that the other side might be really hard too. And I think we all have different experiences and they're all valid. All the feelings we have about them are valid. There really isn't a clear solution to this. But yet I just kind of don't like this word, straight passing privilege, because, well, for one, it assumes that uh, these people face less issues simply because they can pass as straight. Also, it completely forgets about the fact that, um, you know, it's not easy being told over and over again that you look straight when you've been told so many times you're not gay enough and yeah neither isn't easy um, but <clears throat> even after having seen both sides and understanding uh, the reason why people use this word a bit more I still think that it can be very hurtful um, towards certain people you know or for example especially for example, bisexuals, asexuals, aromantics, pansexuals, and so on. Um, so here's three reasons why I still don't like the word, why I think it's kind of crappy, and at the very least, why you shouldn't make assumptions about people um, based on straight passing privilege. Number one, you don't know this person. You don't know their struggle. You don't know how many friends they've lost. Um, how they have been hurt 
for their identity and simply because you don't see them being super very gay that doesn't mean they don't have those struggles number two there's a certain struggle that comes with realizing that you're not like everyone else um, there's a struggle within you that might not be connected to how other people treat you at all they might not even know about your identity and yet it can be really hard to come to terms with who you are that is a struggle that LGBT plus people face in general um, and even people who can pass as straight face this issue I think that is already reason enough why they are a part of the LGBT plus community that brings me right to number three which is that this community is for anyone who doesn't fit into society's expectations regarding sexuality or gender um, and it's even harder when you feel like you don't really belong in either community so don't go around telling people they don't belong here because they're not gay enough for you or because their struggle isn't as obvious to you I basically have a mascot now thanks to a friend who made this for me for my last birthday I think um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bisexual whale. Do you get it? Yeah, I think you do. I think this little whale needs a name. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. See you next week. <laughs> Can I hide in my queerness now? If only life was this easy.